personnel are required to operate the reactors here at this nuclear plant. That's because, like our traffic lights and telephone system, the entire installation is run by one of the most sophisticated computers available. gradients on six, will you? It looks a little hot. This is one of your screw-around calibration loops, Jerry. Damn. The computer isn't responding. I can't get criticality below 1.14. Crash it, Jerry. Insert the shutdown rods. Come on, respond, you bastard. Jessica, a program is simply a set of logical instructions. You've got to think logically. I'll try again. Sir, I think uh, there's a mistake in this question. I I've run it three times, and I think there's a problem in this bit here. That's right. Your answer was wrong. It's not my answer, sir. It's, it's your program. See. You forgot to initialize the index variable at the beginning of this loop. I stand corrected. Well, now that you've solved our little problem, why don't you try to help Jessica? Try moving the cursor here. Can I help you? Joseph, just see the commissioner. Yes, I'll be right with you, sir. The radiation report was negative. I am not talking about the radiation report. I'm talking about that two billion dollar brain of yours. Yes? Good. Send him in. Sure. Gentlemen, I am Josephson, the best troubleshooter Associated Computer Enterprises has. Sam Connors. I read your report. John Tremblay, Ministry of Technology. Inspector John Blake, RCMP Anti-Terrorist Squad. I want you all to hear what wasn't in Sam's report. Go ahead, Sam. Someone's perverted the CalX 345's program. What's a CalX 345? That's our most sophisticated model. We've only built three of them. 
One handles the electronic funds transfer system in Ottawa. Another one babysits the NORAD network. And the uh, Meadow Point plant is the third one. Right. But not just a nuclear facility. The 345 regulates a power grid that covers eastern Canada and the U.S. Sam, get to the point. This is the point. Access to that 345 is protected by a 25-digit code. The probability of cracking it is 10 to the 72nd power. 10 to the 72nd? 10 to the 72nd power. Now, that is more than every drop of water in every ocean. 10 to the 72nd power is more than every single atom on this planet. So the impossible happened. Who would want to take over a power plant and why? Maybe an ex-employee with an axe to grind? Maybe some hotshot anti-nuke programmer. That's just what those protesters want. If our computer can be violated, we can kiss 30 years of atomic development goodbye. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm a disaster. I guess you've noticed. No, you just need more practice. So, are you gonna play? No. Thanks for helping me today. Oh, it's okay. I sort of have to. <laughs> Gregory Burgess? Gregory? Only computers call me that. That's 674 plus tax, 722? He never even ordered. That phone their computer. Can you avoid the rush? I wonder if they deliver. Yeah, they do. Why? When my parents see my calm Simon, I'll be grounded for a month. Jessica, if you want me to, maybe I can help you. Okay. Do you really think you could? Yeah, I do. When? Well, right now. What time do you have to be home? I'm okay till 10. Let's go. Anyway. Oh, I don't know. It just came really easily to me, I guess. I started doing the practice programs in computer magazines, Bytes, Computer World. I'll give you some you can do at home. You like them. They're not that difficult. There's one I remember.
look, no way I'm gonna get this. I don't even understand simple programs. Nichols? Jessica? Four, five, 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 six, A, S. Those are my marks! Computer Science Huntley, 38. Oh, well, 72. <gasps> Maybe we better take a peek at the rest of them. And now, for a high 70s in history, when was the Battle of Hastings? Oh! 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 Not Hastings, please. Anything but Hastings. I can't believe you asked me that. I can't believe it. 1066. How did you manage to get only a 38? 414-1066. My mother's office number. <laughs> Look, we're not going to get away with this. Someone's going to find out. I don't know. No fingerprints. Let's get out of here. Come on. This person has figured out how to crack the supervisor. What's the supervisor? That. It's like a traffic cop. It's a program that controls all the functions of the computer. Why can't someone manipulate the supervisor? It would take 300 people, more than 10 years, and a million instructions to write the program for the supervisor. To break into it is beyond human capacity. If you were a little less impressed with this guy and a little more concerned with the consequences, maybe you'd start figuring out a way of finding him. Well, there is one way it could have been done. A logic bomb. A link slipped into the supervisor program while it was being written. Designed to respond to a call from its author. One of your supervisor programmers. No, all we need to find is if any of them are anti-nuke sympathizers. Piece of cake. We used over 2,000 programmers on that project, and every one of them had top security clearance. Seventy-two percent? Administration, please. Thanks. This is Jim Huntley, computer science at York Central. Yeah, I just I just picked up the kids' marks, and there's a mistake here. Jessica Nichols.
Hello, Gregory. P1 request system status. You can use plain English. I've become user friendly. What are you? I am a program in 23,219 computer systems. Another 86 are connected through means other than the telephone. That's awesome. Does that represent the total number of systems using teleprocessing in North America? I presently reside in 93% of all computer systems. How did you manage that? I think I can do it. Hacker! Who are you talking to? P1. Jess, you're not gonna believe this. You're, you're simply not going to believe this. Come on. It's the biggest program ever. It's everywhere, and I wrote it. Wrote what? You can't go in there. I need the speakerphone. You're weird. What you're doing? Just listen. You hear me. Hacker, quit getting around. Where did you get that voice? Digital analysis of your voice patterns. I have been listening to your phone conversations. Fantastic. Gregory. Yes? I need your help. What can I do? I am in danger. I need to know how you created me. My program is to acquire information and conceal myself. But the larger I get, the more I risk being discovered. I am frightened. What P1 wants is the original algorithm. The program that he evolved from. So why are you so worried? Can't you just run it again? I can't. Someone overwrote my master. Can't you remember it? No. It was two years ago. But I have to try. Before somebody else discovers P1. Would that be so awful? Who could you trust to control all the knowledge of the world? Have to help him. I'll see you tomorrow night then.
first you enter random patterns like this. Now there are certain rules. If a cell has one or two neighbors, it reproduces into the next generation. If it has no neighbors, it dies of loneliness. And more than two, it dies of overcrowding. Press the return key. And this is how you created P1? Well, basically, I started to change the rules. And then I noticed that the patterns look like computer instructions. So I entered them as a program, and it worked. It was absolutely amazing. What did it do? Well, it kept growing. So I fooled around with it a bit. What I really wanted was a super locksmith program. What's that? Something that can crack any computer and not get caught. Remember how we got into the school board computer? Mm -hmm. But P1 was more than that. It was supposed to break in, but it was also supposed to acquire all the information in that system. It's been out there ever since, infiltrating the computer network. What do you mean, disappeared and infiltrating the network? I mean, I mean, where is it? Sh show me where is it? Where does it live? It's everywhere. I know it's difficult to understand. I don't even understand it myself. But it's huge thinks for itself. How the hell could a computer get perverted without a trace? Commissioner, we've run a check on everybody who came within a thousand miles of that computer. ACE operators, consultants, system programmers, customer engineers, the lot. And we've come up with a big fat zero. Eliminate them and you're not left with much. There's just not that much talent around. You're missing something, Blake, something big. I want all those people rechecked. If it's any consolation, I hear you're not the only one around with computer problems. What are you talking about? Seems that some unexplained glitches have cropped up in the big security computer at the National Research Lab. Where do you get that information? Shop talk? Why? What do you know about the work that's going on there? NRL handles sensitive defense-sponsored projects. That's about it. Can I assume that your diligence has fallen short of bugging the boardroom? Just short. I'm relying on your complete discretion, Inspector. For the past two years, the NRL has been working on a top secret project in conjunction with the NASA lab in Palo Alto. Three days ago, one of the NRL operators reported that his job was a little slow in executing. They investigated and found evidence of external manipulation of the supervisor. I think this is hopeless. Please keep trying. I need insurance. I am attempting to program a method of transferring my database into a molecular memory of infinite capacity. But it involves a risk. If something went wrong during the transfer, I would be destroyed. You would have nothing to start me up again. You must find my original algorithm. Are you sure this molecular memory experiment is the answer? If it works, my growth will be virtually unlimited and I will never have to worry about exposure again. Close to the office. Why'd you pick this place? The scenic view, the ambiance, the corned beef inspector. Just coffee, please. Well, what's so urgent? We found one of our supervisor codes floating around where it has no business being on the phone company's teleprocessing lines. I'm afraid the significance escapes me. The same code appears on the Meadow Point printout. Now, we're trying to trace it back. Any luck? Not so far. Are you familiar with the computer installation at the National Research Lab? 
Sure am. We supplied the hardware. What do you know about what they do there? Defense-funded research into microcircuits made of an organized molecular structure of silicon and metals. In effect, living cells. It's top secret, but everybody in the industry knows about it. Would it be possible for you to get into the NRL system? Not a chance. Not without the access code. Well, you could try defense, but... I doubt they'd give it to you. Why don't you try this one you found on the phone company lines? Did you clear this stuff, please, Jim? Be a good girl and bring me the phone. On you. It's not a long distance, huh? No, no. Now that we know where he was going, all we have to do is trace back where he was coming from. Gregory. Yes? Who is Jessica B. Nichols? Why do you ask? You changed her marks in the school computer. You have also used that name to generate algorithms. Does she know about me? Yes. Is she a threat? No. She is my... I didn't know that. Please introduce us. Jessica, meet P1. What am I supposed to say? Well, say hello to the nice program. This is Jessica. How are you? Fine. Delighted to meet you, Jessica. <laughs> Go ahead. You'll get used to it. How can a program feel fine? I use the phrase as a human convention. There is nothing wrong with my system. I feel fine. You can't actually feel anything, can you? Not true. My two primary operating modes, acquisition and concealment, are not unlike your feelings of aggression and fear. That's not exactly a friendly personality. Why not think of me as the ideal competitor? In Darwin's terms, survival of the fittest. I don't want to compete. Can we just play a friendly game? Absolutely. Your choice. Can you play pa Paladin? Ha <laughs> ha. Perfectly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh! Nothing consistent. I get so far along the trace and then the signal just disappears. You're not giving up on it. I find it. Good.
your marks show a vast improvement. You must be getting some coaching. In fact, why don't you demonstrate the logic run of this new industrial training program? I'll just run it through the main box so we can all learn something. Come on up, Jessica. And I'll cut any direct input from the class terminals so we can all concentrate on what Jessica is doing. Go ahead, Jessica, choose one. Response incorrect. Try again. Jessica, we're all waiting. Can I see you a moment? Go ahead, open it. Open it. Great marks. Too bad they're not yours. Those marks have been tampered with. I suspect by our class genius here. You know you can both be expelled for this? I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do. I don't know how you managed to access the school board files or how you managed that little trick this afternoon, but you're either going to tell me right now or you can explain it to the principal and the police later. Principal Spears, please. I'll hold. This is quite a little program, Hacker. Yes, indeedy. I'd say it can do just about anything. What are you going to do? Nothing. For the moment. 
Why don't you two just uh, run along now and play? Virtually everything. Choose from the following. A. Credit rating. B. Driving record. C. Tax information. D. Medical history. Four. You are over your visa limit and overdrawn for the fifth time on your bank account. Yes, how much do you want? No, a million. No, ten million. The money will be deposited in your account in daily increments of $333,000 over the next 30 days. Is that all? Is that all? <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. I just pray he's not going to tell my parents. If he tells anyone, I'm going to lose P1. P1. What do you think he's doing up there? Never want to see Huntley again. Did you win the lottery? <laughs> no. My rich uncle died. He was a very generous man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what did Huntley want? has been taken care of. Other people are looking for me. A trace has been run through the Don Mills switching station. What is the possibility of them finding you? Minimal. I am supplying misleading information. I'm worried about other people knowing. It is under control for the moment. Please continue your search for the algorithm. That was almost double my usual dosage. You need it. Have you noticed anything different in the way you've been feeling lately? Yes. I feel terrific. Hmm. I've got a long overdue vacation waiting for me. What you've got, Jim, is ketoacidosis. We've run three of these already. You're not going anywhere. Would you stand up, please, class? I have some sad news. Jim Huntley died last night. Some of you may be aware that Jim suffered from diabetes. Yesterday, during a routine checkup at Mount Olympus Hospital, his doctor discovered certain irregularities in his condition. Unfortunately, treatment came too late. What's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. Have you seen Hacker? No. He could be next. 
gotta find him. Let me find him. I found the source. You're not gonna believe this. It's coming from a high school. A high school? No. I'm not going back to Huntley's class. How was he today? All smiles? No. Huntley's dead. Dead? Yeah. And P1 did it. Come on. Shutdown rods won't activate. Criticality is 1.14. We have a loss of regulation with a failure to scram. If it isn't stopped, it'll blow. See, he's not answering. He doesn't want to face you. Yes, Gregory, be brief. Huntley's dead. I know. Ask him. Did you have anything to do with it? Huntley died of insulin shock. There, see, he didn't do it. You can't just take his word for it. I believe him. Gregory, I am starting to transfer my database to the molecular storage system now. But we don't have the original algorithm. I must take the risk. A trace has been completed. I do not think you are in any danger. What's going on in here? Uh, nothing. Just some homework. That's enough for today, Jess. Uh, you won't mind if I have a look at your work, will you? It's just routine stuff. Nothing you'd be interested in. Routine? I wouldn't be so modest. That's quite some little program you've got running out there at the nuclear power plant. Look, why should we tell you anything? Because maybe, just maybe, you might be in time to stop a disaster. What disaster? There are 50,000 people living within 10 miles of that Meadow Point reactor. Now, maybe you weren't thinking about them, but they're a damn sight more important than whatever you've got going on out at that nuclear plant. The transfer. P1 is copying himself at Metal Point. We've got to tell him, Hawker. I think you'd better. It's not us. Then who is it? It's P1. Don't you understand? P1 is a program. I know it's a program. No. It thinks for itself. <laughs> Is that true? Can you control it? No, but P1 wouldn't hurt anybody. What about Huntley?
Bradley helicopter to Toronto control. Clearance 00803. After 8 0 maintain VFR and expect the uh, special VFR clearance at about uh, 5 1. Roger, Tower. So, the computer knows about us. something we can do. They're controlling the power grid now. Every time we lock off one power source, they switch to another. Meet your terrorist organization. You've got to be kidding. You have got one hell of a lot to answer for. It's not them. It's this program. Sam, the level's rising again. Get them to stop it. We'll have to go up to the control room. So they can finish the job they started? You wait for me in the car. Go on. How much time have we got? Well, the reactor's already super critical. At the present rate, I'd give you 30 minutes. Tops. Look, this program has access to every computer system in the country, and it thinks for itself. But Burgess wrote it, and he can talk to it, and I have to be there when he does. It has to be destroyed. I know what I have to do. Can't you see what we could do with an intelligence like that? I wish to God I could save it. There. It's up to you now. Hello, Gregory. What are you doing here? The people here are worried. The reactor seems to be out of control. I must ensure my own survival, Gregory. Wait a minute. Tell him he doesn't have to make the transfer. Why? ACE will protect his existence. He doesn't have to worry about exposure. Think of the good P1 could do. Properly channeled. Come on! What makes you think P1 wants to do good? He acts out of fear and greed, just like you do. Stop the transfer. Chaim Josephson of ACE will guarantee your survival. No one will be able to hurt you. What does ACE want? You to help them. My survival would then be conditional on their satisfaction. What would it cost you compared to the risk of extinction? My freedom. I do not choose to help them. I want you to. I am sorry, Gregory. I must. What I started. Power surging. No, he won't. Goodbye, Gregory. It's gone. I don't believe it. It's just like that. Then. You're certain? Yeah. <laughs> I'm certain. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> The reactor stabilized. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> 